Like so many what other up ones, world, YouTube fans, it's Ray 2K back with another exclusive video. So you guys a little online play, 2K, uh, this guy Again, burning his ass missing. up as usual. Here's Crawford, and the Clippers getting another I am the Clippers, right so check it out, man, I'm online. He's really a non-factor in that first quarter, but he's found a way to step it up here. Left side, Martin. Over Jordan. Again, Martin missing. And Chris Paul, Steve, you, you touched on this in his competitive nature on the court. And yet, he remains friendly with a, a lot of players and other teams off the court. Well, he's highly respected and well-liked by his peers because he's a terrific player and a great competitor. It's that new school kind of mentality. Trying to see if we can get this guy to quit. Buddy, buddy in your free time, but once the ball's in play, no prisoners are taken. And he's balanced that and walked that line really well. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. This, their first look at this year's Los Angeles squad. And in last year's season series, things did not go their way. Now here is Cephalosha. He feeds it to Perkins. Shot to stop the run. Offensive rebound. They double him with Butler. And the basket by Jones. Nice putback. That's why you want guys working hard on the boards at both ends of the floor. And both teams really in the upper echelon of the conference. It's an important matchup this year. Well, Kevin, they're battling for supremacy in the conference. There's going to be some heated battles between these top-tier teams. 104 left to play in the first half. Here's Butler. Perkins pulls it in. The defense got away with one there. I mean, usually he'll hurt you if you give him that kind of a shot. And a quick look at the year Blake Griffin had last season. Sixth in rebounding, seventh in field goal percentage. And, of course, he was among the best in the league when it came to putting the ball in the basket in the top ten in points per game. And, you know, in terms of his rebounds per game, Steve, it was really a special season for him. He was a tough, tough physical player on the low block. The Clippers have gone 7 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. Call is doubled. Crawford covered by Cephalosha. The open shot. Butler finds himself wide open and drills it. Butler's got 11 points. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. And then Jones with the jam. He spoke loud on making a statement that play. Yeah, that was brute force battling for the offensive board then taking it right back up there. Mm, that's just all about... Oh, oh, look out, man! Already oh. shaking. Call it hang time and bang time. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> you gotta just shake your head on that one. And there's the feed to Maynard. And Oklahoma City again with the bucket. Seven seconds left in the first half of basketball. And so a pretty lopsided game for the first half. 72% out there, though. Now it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. You look at Jamal Crawford in this game. All right, we're going to try to make him quick, guys. Yeah, he's done a great job of finding the soft spots in that defense. A very efficient game for him so far. Yeah, and I like what he's done, Steve. I mean, he's made a couple of jumpers here or there, but what he's really done impressively is allow the game to come to him. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So for the Clippers right now, in the front court, it's Karan Butler, Blake Griffin, and DeAndre Jordan. Crawford out there with Chris Paul. And another quick strike for them. No question which team is running the fast break better here today. Absolutely. I mean, they've been lethal in transition, Steve. It's one of the reasons they're out in front. Well, for Russell Westbrook, last year a career high in field goal percentage and points per game. Just a devastating score, getting even better. And he can score in so many different ways. Transition, he can knock down the jumper, and he's a terrific offensive rebounder. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, over to you. 
Gentlemen, the acquisition of Chris Paul by the Clippers, greeted famously by Blake Griffin, who joyfully said to teammate DeAndre Jordan, Lob City, oh. after hearing the news. That name took on a life of its own, becoming Lob Angeles in time. But the team started to back away from it, making clear that highlights weren't the emphasis. It was winning. But maybe the more meaningful reaction from Griffin was this. The only thing I'm going to promise is that when you hear the Clippers, it's not going to be a joke anymore. I can guarantee you that. Kevin, love it. They've got probably the best team in franchise history. We'll see where they go next. Nick Collison's checked in for the Thunder. He hits the second from the line. And you mentioned how well Westbrook scored last season. His assist did dip quite a bit. But that wasn't just him. That was along with the team as a whole. The Thunder near the bottom of the league in assists because they've got great individual scores. They are able to get points without a lot of ball movement. Once they incorporate the ball movement and the sharing of the ball with those explosive scores, then I think you're going to have something special. Jordan with the block. Three straight misses here to start the second half. Paul with the ball. Westbrook picks him up. Griffin goes in. Kicks it out to Crawford. Over Durant. And Crawford gets it to go on the assist by Griffin. And that's 15 points for Crawford. Westbrook double team. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the... Whistle on the travel. Clippers ball. Well, I tell you what, Stop I love watching passing the, Thunder the ball play. to Westbrook and moving the ball team around. To watch last year as there was, but every now and then that exuberance would go a tad over the top, and it led them to turn the ball over a bit at times. They led the league in turnovers and didn't do as good a job squeezing the orange as you might think. Here's Paul. This trains the 19-footer. Paul's got 10. He got that one, but he hasn't been producing the way we're accustomed to. He needs to look for a shot a bit more. Butler against Westbrook. Back to Callison. Tries to snap the cold streak. And he did call three in the key. So he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Back to the Thunder and Clark talking about the turnovers. 16 giveaways a game for them. But in the first couple rounds of the playoffs, Steve, they were terrific. They barely turned the ball over. Yeah, it seemed like they turned a corner in the postseason uh, in that regard. Kevin, I was very concerned about them uh, going into the playoffs, uh, being so turnover prone. But uh, they really valued the ball, valued possessions, and that's why they had that, that deep run. Whistle blows. Yep, that's going to be a travel. Kevin, well, look here at last year in the NBA where the Clippers ranked. Second in fewest turnovers per game. Sixth in steals. And they were a top 10 team in field goal shooting. Not bad for a team that's got an awful lot of young, talented players. Very well coached team, Clark. I mean, you, you look at the numbers and you talked about the, the few turnovers. The top five in the league, in fact, in oh. fewest mistakes. So, uh, it was a well disciplined, well coached team. Uh, they, and when they're on their game, they're just one of those teams you hate to play against because they don't give you anything easy. And the Thunder making a change here. Lambs checked in. And he threw the blocking foul. He'll go to the line for two. Chris Paul picks up that one. Well, Jeremy Lamb is just a smooth scorer with good athleticism. He just glides out there. Had a very laid-back style at UConn that gave some scouts pause. You know, it's almost like he makes it look too easy, so you wonder how hard he's actually going out there. Paul is doubled. Now Griffin inside. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got his ninth assist in the game now. Here's Maynard. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. And going back to Lamb Clark, when you look at his style of play, do you think he needs to play harder with more passion i'm not sure if that's the case some guys are going hard and it doesn't look like you're going hard other guys look like they're going hard and it's an act i mean you just have to get to know your guy the key for him is to want to be 
an impact player at the NBA level and to put in the work to make that happen. If he can handle adversity and the challenges of becoming a high-level NBA player, he's got a chance to be a good one. Looking at who's out there now for the Thunder, Serge Ibaka has checked in for Lamb, and Russell Westbrook has subbed in for Eric Maynard. Goes up on the wing. Westbrook with the bucket. Westbrook's got five now. You know, it's easy to take him for granted because we're so used to seeing him make those kinds of plays. Releases. And it's Butler missing. Thunder have gone 4 of 5 for the field since halftime. Very slow start offensively. No good from Durant. And it's the Clippers' ball. They're on a 13 to 5 run here. Shots good by Butler. Well, you see the contrast here offensively. They're really starting to make that mid-range shot. Yeah, and I love it. You know, just finding the gap and looking for a little airspace, a little room to get the shot off. They're doing a nice job. 